Hello there. The late spring weather across Europe is looking somewhat mixed. We have got some warm sunshine towards northern parts of Europe at least. This weather front has been bringing some fairly heavy rain to the Republic of Ireland up towards western Scotland as well. That should be easing away. Further south though, low pressure around the Mediterranean moving into central parts of Europe on Tuesday. So that will bring some heavy downpours to parts of northern Italy, southern France, in towards the Balkans as well. To the south of that, more sunshine across much of Turkey into Greece too, with temperatures in Athens of around 29 Celsius. You can see all those showers cropping up though across Sardinia, Sicily, towards Barcelona as well. A little cooler than we'd expect for the time of year for the likes of Lisbon, but it will warm up in Portugal and across Spain later in the week. Heavy down pours across southern and central parts of France but for England and Wales at least it's looking dry and settled with sunshine extending across much of Scandinavia. Temperatures doing very well for the time of year here. Into Wednesday low pressure drifts a little bit further eastward so it'll be the likes of Germany, Austria, Poland, down towards Greece as well that we'll see the heaviest of the showers. It will be warming up a touch across Portugal and Spain as well. Here's the outlook towards the end of the week. A few showers in London and in Paris at times. Sunshine will return to Rome though as we look towards the weekend. Now also in Berlin and Moscow, spells of sunshine lasting over the next five days, also dry in Kiev and Athens too. Bye-bye. Hello there. There's been some fairly persistent heavy rainfall for a few days now across parts of Florida that has caused some flooding issues. Here's a satellite image that shows this big swathe of cloud that's been sitting across Florida. Other southern and eastern states also seeing quite a bit of cloud and we will continue to see some fairly heavy downpours across the likes of Florida, Georgia, up towards the southern Great Lakes as well during the next 24 hours or so. Potential for a little bit more flooding for some of these eastern states. For central and western parts of North America, it's a scattering of showers across the Great Plains and the Rockies as well. Mostly dry for southern parts of British Columbia. We've also seen some heavy rain and some flooding. We will see some rain and some hill snow a little bit further north. Vancouver looks dry, 67 Fahrenheit here on Monday. Largely dry right down the west coast as well, although inland California may well see a few sharp showers, particularly over the Sierra Nevada. Here's the outlook then over the course of Tuesday and into Wednesday as well. Dry and sunny for Vancouver and Seattle. Slightly cloudier for San Francisco and LA as well. And it's a dry day for Montreal and New York. In fact, temperatures in Montreal a little warmer than they have been. We've had a cold spell of weather for the north and the east of Canada. Sunshine for New York, but as we move our way further south towards parts of Texas, down towards Florida, those heavy showers and thunderstorms are set to continue. In Montreal, then, a shower should clear away to leave a dry day for Wednesday. A similar picture in New York. Bye-bye. Hello there. We've got some heavy rain in the forecast across western parts of the Caribbean with the potential for possibly a tropical cyclone to form later on in the week. But that's something we're keeping it quite a close eye on. Further south across South America then, the heaviest of the rain during Monday will be across the north of the continent, particularly for Colombia, northern parts of Ecuador, Venezuela as well. It's drier for Paraguay into southern parts of Brazil as well. But if we start off further north, you can see those heavy showers and thunderstorms across Colombia in towards northern parts of Brazil. Moving our way further southeastwards, it's dry down towards Rio de Janeiro, but temperatures to the south of that, a little cooler than we'd expect, particularly for Uruguay, across the border into Argentina as well, 17 degrees in Buenos Aires. Heading further south, then we will see some windy and at times wet weather across parts of southern Argentina and southern Chile as well. So here's the outlook then in Rio de Janeiro, a few showers during the middle part of the week. Plenty of sunshine in Buenos Aires, but temperatures not, still not doing great for the time of year. A few showers across central and southern parts of Mexico, but the heaviest of the rain will be concentrated a little bit further east, just off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula, particularly also for Cuba, down towards Nicaragua and Honduras. It's here that we're likely to see some flooding impacts, drier weather though further east across the Caribbean. Here's the outlook over the next five days. Plenty of heavy showers and thunderstorms set to stick around in Havana. Bye for now. Hello there. The weather across New Zealand is looking fairly unsettled, stormy and rather cold for the time of year too. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. First off, a little bit further north, here's the satellite image across Indonesia. You can see these big areas of shower cloud where we've had some heavy downpours. More of those to come, but the rain shouldn't be too persistent here. It's further north that we've got more persistent, heavier rain down to this slow moving front, which is stretching across eastern parts of China, clearing Beijing later on Tuesday, heading towards Seoul and then later on to Japan through the middle part of the 
week. Head further south, Hong Kong mostly dry at 33 Celsius. Scattered showers for Bangkok, Singapore as well. And we'll continue to see that mix of sunny spells and afternoon showers bubbling up across much of Indonesia. Now here's the outlook over the next five days or so. Rain eventually clearing from Osaka, Beijing and Seoul as well, but we will continue to see some heavy showers in Bangkok at times. High pressure keeps things dry across much of Australia, rather cooler and cloudier for the likes of Adelaide and Melbourne as well. And across the Tasman Sea, New Zealand still very unsettled, low pressure very much in charge here. So that's bringing some heavy rain at low levels, especially across the South Island. Snow on top of the mountains, temperatures of 17 degrees in Wellington and Auckland, but feeling cooler when you add on the strength of the wind as well. Here's the outlook for the next five days. It's dry and sunny in Sydney, but some rain in Perth through the middle of the week. Bye bye. Hello there. Thanks for joining me for this look at the weather across South and Central Asia. And the pre-monsoon heat continues to build across many northern and northwestern parts of India into Pakistan too. The satellite image shows some big areas of cloud down towards the south for parts of Kerala, Tamil Nadu and across Sri Lanka too. Here we will continue to see further heavy downpours developing through the course of Monday night and overnight into Tuesday as well. So some pretty wet weather towards southern India into Sri Lanka as well. Meanwhile, further north, it's a drier story, but the heat is going to be the main concern, I think. So heading our way northwards, 43 Celsius in Nagpur, for instance, moving in towards parts of Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan as well. A lot of dry weather here, but there will be some heavy showers, particularly over the higher ground and towards parts of Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan as well. Sunshine for Karachi. We could see some sandstorms developing here, I think, a little bit later on in the week. 41 Celsius in Karachi on Tuesday. Heading further south then, Outbreaks of heavy rain towards the far south of India and across Sri Lanka and Mali as well. Scattered showers up towards West Bengal and Bangladesh shouldn't be as heavy and persistent compared to further south. Still some showers and thunderstorms in Dakar and Colombo. Should be dry in Mumbai and in Islamabad as well. Lots of sunshine on offer here. Do watch out for the potential for some sandstorms though in Karachi as we look towards the weekend. That's it for now. Bye-bye. Hello there. Tropical cyclone Sagar brought some problems over the weekend as it made landfall, bringing heavy rainfall to parts of Somalia, Ethiopia, Djibouti as well. That storm system is now dissipating. You can just about see the remnants of it on the satellite image, but sitting out in the Arabian Sea, the potential for another tropical cyclone to form later on in the week. We'll have a look at that in more detail on our website. Now, across much of North Africa, it is dry. Temperatures pretty warm for the time of year, up towards the northeast. Cairo, 43 Celsius. Cooler conditions for the northwest of Africa. We will see weather fronts just scraping the south of South Africa at times. So perhaps a little bit of rain to come in Cape Town through the middle of the week. Lots of sunshine, though, in store for Johannesburg as we look over the next five days or so. Meanwhile, for Khartoum, we will see one or two showers, I think particularly during the course of Wednesday. Showers should clear from Kinshasa later on in the week, leaving sunny spells here. Now across the Middle East then we've got a breeze coming in off the Mediterranean towards Damascus, 35 Celsius here, lots of warm weather, temperatures above average for the likes of central Saudi Arabia, 40 degrees there in Riyadh, just sitting off the coast of, around the Gulf of Aden, some heavy rain which has the potential to move inland as a tropical cyclone, we'll keep a close eye on that over the coming few days as it develops. It could move into coastal parts of Yemen and Oman, maybe bringing some heavy rain to Muscat by the weekend. Bye for now.